It's a fine, phenolic, acrylic day. The cellulosics are in good fettle, and there's a hint of melamine in the air. Yes, everything is perfectly synthetic, for this is the bright new world of plastic products. In this polyethylene paradise, the only things that aren't synthetic are the soft sighs of love in bloom. Will we ever understand love? Or fluorocarbon? Don't despair. For our amphibian friend is about to explain the arcane mysteries of plastics. He looks at the water. He looks at the leaf and conclusively proves that leaves, water, everything consists of tiny bits of matter called molecules. Each molecule is made up of atoms of various kinds. By studying nature's molecules, science has learned to manipulate their atoms into new patterns, thus creating new molecules and new substances that nature itself has never produced. From these new synthetic substances, Industry can make thousands of products. It's called urethane foam. And like all new synthetics, it has its origin in natural products like wood or oil or limestone. These materials can all become plastics, but first they must be broken down into their constituent parts in huge infernos. down plants, the raw materials go to the building up plants. Inside giant kettles, the atoms will lurch and reel and stagger until they form new molecules that nature never thought of. These will become the raw materials of plastics ready for the manufacturer. These colored plastic granules will later be heated, melted, and squeezed into a mold, where they'll harden into the finished product. What product? That depends on what kind of a mold you make.
Besides simple molding, there are many other ways in which plastics are handled. They can be bonded, they can be coated, they can be fabricated, extruded, calendared, laminated, or foamed. balloony bags, silky, sophisticated threads. Plastics can be persuaded to make them all. It all depends on how you push them, how you pull them, how you heat them, how you cool them. It's idyllic, acrylic, allylic, this plastic world. Polyesters, polystyrene, polypropyl ethylene, light, bright, breezy, and very hard to break. Junior at play, daddy at work. Both are surrounded by polymerized monomers of man-made molecules with most gratifying results. For the old man, life is now full of things unknown when he was young. And after he leaves the scene, there will be more and more new things, for the story of synthetic substances is only just beginning. Oh, by the way, this film was made on plastic too. Thank <laughs> you.